This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 2, Number 45. Solve these special right triangles for the indicated variables. Okay? Solve. I know it, when I'm asked to solve a triangle, I know what that means. I need to find all three sides and all three angle measures. Special right triangles. I know that there's two special right triangles. A 45, 45, 90 degree triangle and a 60... Or sorry, a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Okay? So let's go ahead and do this. Part A. So what I like to do first is label my triangle. The only thing, when I have a right triangle, I like to make the right angle here, right? We're told it's a right angle, so that's 90 degrees. I like to make that big C. So across it, the hypotenuse is little c. And the only reason why I like to do that is because in the Pythagorean theorem, C usually represents the hypotenuse, or C does in the Pythagorean theorem. So I like to leave that for the hypotenuse. Okay, so I always like to call little c the hypotenuse. Then I can label A and B the other vertices, the other corners of the triangle. So across from big B is little b, and little big A is little a. Okay, so again, my solution is going to be angle A, angle B, angle C, and side A, side B, side C. Okay, so this is for part A. So let me fill in what I know right now. Well, I know angle C is the right angle, which is 90 degrees. Side C is five units, right? They give those to us. Okay, and I know... B and A are both X. So I can even write is equal to X is equal to is equal to X is equal to. All right. So let's go ahead and begin. How do we solve this? Well, if it's a special right triangle, it's either one of these. Right. And just because it looks like one, I can't just go ahead and say it is one because triangles aren't always drawn to scale when we're given sketches or graphs or figures. So let's go ahead and see is there any information we're given. Well, we know both of these have the length x, right? So that means this side is equal or congruent to this side, right? The sides have the same length if they're both x, okay? So then we can use the property um, from geometry that states that angles, right, in a triangle, if the opposite sides are congruent, so are the angles. So the corresponding opposite angles to congruent sides are congruent. So that means opposite this side here, right, opposite side A is this angle. So that means angle A is equal or congruent to the opposite angle from side B here, angle B. So I know angle A is equal to angle B, right? And right away, I know, well, if I have a 90-degree angle in a special triangle, the other two are going to be 45 and 45 degrees, okay? If you aren't convinced, you can always use the property of all three angles adding together is equal to 180 degrees. Fill in what's given, right? C, angle C is 90 degrees. A and B are the same, so let's just call them X. Not x, because x is used. Let's call them y. Just want to use a variable. So I have 2y plus 90 degrees equals 180. Solving for y, I subtract 90 degrees from both sides. Divide by 2, I get y, get y is equal to 45. Okay? So that's how I do um, solve for the angles. Now I know that it's a special right triangle, a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. Right, 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So what can I use? Well, I know that, right, for a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, if these sides are A, then this hypotenuse is going to be square root of 2 times A, right? So let's go ahead and look what we're given. We're given that the hypotenuse is 5, so we're given that this side here, square root of 2 times a is equal to 5, okay? So let's use this equation now to solve for a. So I have square root of 2 times a is equal to 5. 
divide both sides by square root of 2 because that's the opposite of multiply. So I'm left with a is equal to 5 over square root of 2. All right. Except the only thing we've got to make sure is we're not happy with square roots, any roots in the denominator. So let's go ahead and multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2. So this becomes 5 square root of 2 in the numerator. And square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just 2 without the root. Okay? So I get a is equal to that. So that's just both of these sides, right? So that means in here, x is equal to that, right? So now I could go ahead and write these in. Um, I'll use green. a is 5 square root of 2 over 2 units, and b is 5 square root of 2 over 2 units. I could write units here, units here, and even units here. All right? All right, so that's how we did A. Now let's go on to part B. Part B, we're given another triangle, right? And now we're told an angle um, and the hypotenuse and another angle. So first, always label the sides and the vertices. This one, I'm going to change it around. I'm going to call this side C again, right? So this is big C. Since this side is y here, I'm going to call the opposite angle big Y. And since this one's x, I'm going to call the opposite angle big X. Okay? So vertices are capital letters. Side lengths are corresponding little lowercase letters. So I'm going to solve for angle y, angle x, angle c, and side y, x, and c. Right? When I get all these, that's solving the triangle. So I'll be done. And I'm given angle C here is 90 degrees. Angle X here is 30 degrees. And side C is 8 units. Okay? So once I solve for the rest, I'm done. So what can I know quickly? I can know the third angle, right? If I, know, if I already know two angles, I just know the fact that when they add all up, it equals to 180 degrees. So I have angle Y plus now 30 plus 90 equals 180 degrees, right? So I have angle Y and just combine like terms. This is 120 equals 180. Subtract 120 from both sides. I get angle Y is equal to 60 degrees. And in fact, I could have already deduced that from the information given. It's a special right triangle. It's either 30, 60, 90, or 45, 45, 90. And one of the angles is 30 degrees. So the other one has to be 60, right? If it has a 90 degree angle and a 30, those add up. Okay? So what do we know about a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle? Well, let's just draw the general case, right? This is 30 degrees here, 60 degrees here, 90. The side opposite 30 degrees we call A. The side opposite 60 degrees we call square root of 3 times A. And this hypotenuse opposite of the right angle we call 2 times A. Okay, so this is a property of a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. All right, so what are we given? We're given the hypotenuse is 8. Okay, so we're given this side here is equal to 8. So we're given 2a is equal to 8. So solving for a, divide both sides by 2, we get a is equal to 4. Plugging a here, we know that that means this is equal to square root of 3 times 4, right? So that means y over here is square root of 3 times 4. And a over here is just going to be equal to 4, right? Because a is 4. So x is equal to 4. So let's go ahead and plug these into our answer chart for solving it, y is square root of 3 times 4, only square root of 3 is under the square root units, and x is 4 units. Alright, so this solves the triangle and we're done with part b. And this also ends CPM Precalculus chapter 2 number 45.